Kneeling. Mr. President, where did you become the arbiter of what is disrespectful for the flag? What makes you the authority in all things ethical, moral, and of redeeming value in our country? Certainly it's not your life, the way you treat people, or even the office you hold. Therefore, your objection to kneeling during the national anthem is ludicrous. The pressure you put on sports clubs from your bully pulpit is laughable. Unfortunately, some of your followers do not know better or think that what you say really does matter. They obviously are ignorant of, or you have totally hoodwinked them. That goes for the sports industry management as well. It is a shame and will only create more division. Of course, this may be exactly what you wish to do. Because if people are focused on this non-consequential issue, they will not realize that, in spite of your rhetoric, you're not doing anything of consequence anyway. Kneeling has always been taken as a sign of reverence and respect. It is a physical indication of your subjugation to whatever or whomever is the object of your kneeling. Whenever the coach wants to say something special to the team, everyone is instructed to take a knee. This not only means take a particular position, but also listen attentively because something special is about to be said. Therefore, when sports players take a knee, there are two things which are happening, neither of which is a sign of disrespect. One, they're being reverent. Or two, they are listening attentively. But in this case, they are also doing something else very important to us in our Constitution. They're exercising their right to free speech. Bullying, xenophobia, racism, and name-calling are common fare for you. These athletes are calling attention to the fact that enough is enough, and it is important to treat people with human decency. Unfortunately, this is not something you are familiar with, and therefore, anyone who shines a light on it causes you to hit back because you can't stand the heat of the truth. Instead of calling for a ban on kneeling, maybe we should, be call, we should call for a ban on hateful speech. Maybe we should call a ban on treating people as inferior. Maybe we should call a ban on making people feel like they are less than human and of no value. Maybe we should stand up for those who take a knee and salute their boldness and bravery as they call our attention to the fact that we need to do a, lot, a better job of supporting and affirming each other.